what's up guys welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for tuning in in today's video i'll be showing you guys how i achieved this bob butterfly looks thingy you already saw in the intro so i went ahead to part my hair i did this the night before i parted my hair and i just twisted it up but before twisting it i made sure to braid at least an inch from my roots from the root of my hair i braided an inch from the roots of my hair just so it's a little bit more stable and i made sure to moisturize my hair really well i'm counting it right now to know how many it is how many braids i have on my head and it turned out to be 40. so i used the darling kinky braiding hair in 20 inches for the lower part of my hair and i i wanted extensions with different lengths but i couldn't see extensions with of the same brand with different lengths so i had to get different brands of similar texture and i ended up getting this other brand so this is what it looks like getting out of the pack i'm just going to separate this and cut it into two because i want the lower part to be short because it's going to be bob so i'm just going to cut it into two and use it So once we've cut it, we will need to fluff our hair out so it has this bouncy feel to it and it's not tangly. So that's what I'm doing right here. I'm just going to hold it and try to stretch it out. As I'm dragging it, it's, it gets fluffier. So we just do that a couple of times and once you are satisfied with how fluffy it looks already, just like this, we are going to use it. You can see that my hair is actually longer than the usual bob length so i'm going to have to you know reduce the length in a way so i can completely fit my hair into my bob and i'm just going to take my hair and wrap it upward i'm going to find the length that feels okay and i'm going to just wrap it upward like so just so i can be able to use my extension to cover my hair So this particular length I've chosen is an okay length for me, I feel it's alright. Now I'm just going to insert my crochet needle under the braided part of my hair. So I'm not putting it in the braid, I'm not putting it through the braid, I'm putting it in the root of my hair under the braid. And I'm going to wrap my extension in a way that it forms like a loop. I'm going to wrap my extension and put my extension over my crochet hook and just drag it out through the root of my hair like so so I make sure to be careful while I drag it through the root of my hair and once it's out I use my fingers to drag it completely carefully in a way that I have two portions a smaller portion which I'm going to call the stable portion and then a longer portion which we'll call the wrapping portion so we are going to use the stable portion to act as a support for our natural hair we're just going to attach it to our natural hair and then we're going to use the wrapping portion to wrap our hair so i just do few wraps on the root of my hair not too tight so it doesn't cause too much tension so i do about three wraps on the root of my hair and when that's done i use my fingers to make a loop so i will put my finger through the wrapping portion to make a loop and then I just wrap it around like you're seeing right there and once that's done I get another loop and I wrap it around I'm always careful to not make the loop too big because I wanted it to look really butterfly-ish and not too distressed if you understand what I mean so I wanted smaller loops so once I get the loop and I feel it's too big I'll just go in there and get another loop with my thumb and I'm going to wrap around it and once that's done I go down, I wrap it down and get another loop and wrap it. So I keep putting my fingers through to form the loop while I wrap the wrapping portion on the stable portion and my actual hair. So 
So I just continue the same technique for the rest of the hair. I put my thumb through and I form the loop. And once I get to the end, I just reverse everything. So I'm going to form a loop at the end and tie it to make somewhat like a knot and then with whatever braiding hair I have left, I'm going to reverse it. So I'm going to start forming the loop and wrapping it upward, up through the hair until I run out of hair. And once I run out of hair, the hair just becomes really thin so it just blends with the rest of my lock. And you can decide to give it a palm roll. Mine just stayed like that. There was no unraveling but you can decide to give it a palm roll if you're not sure if it's going to unravel. So we are doing this for the second time just so you guys are clear on the technique. You're going to get, if your natural hair is longer than the bob size that you want, then you're going to have to roll your natural hair upward over itself, like on itself. You're going to roll your hair on itself upward to reduce the length and then you, you're going to pass your braiding hair through your natural hair under your natural hair and you're going to have two portions you're going to have the longer the longer wrapping portion and the shorter stable portion now the stable portion is going to be attached with your actual hair it's going to be together with your actual hair and then you use your wrapping hair to your wrapping portion to wrap around your hair remember to use your thumb to form the loop like you're seeing there you're going to use your thumb create the loop and then wrap around it so you're going to continue like that you create a loop and then you wrap around it I just have to say that this was my first time doing this hair and even if my measurements were actually you know not as crisp as the pros I did a really good job so let's go over that one more time you wrap your natural hair over itself like so make sure whatever length you choose to keep your natural hair after wrapping it is the length that would be completely covered by your extension so you don't just wrap it in a too short fashion or too long fashion so make sure it's the perfect length and then you get your extension and you pass it through your natural hair you pass it under the braid you've braided your natural hair don't forget to fluff it out that's really important guys you fluff out your extension and then you pass it under the braid of the twist that you've done you, when you pass it out make sure one portion is longer than the other portion so we have the stable portion and then the wrapping portion which is the portion that we actually use to wrap the hair
So I'm going to leave the link to some of the videos I watched that actually helped me get the style on my first try. And if you feel like you can check them out and you know make your first try as easy as possible, just do you honestly because this hairstyle has so many different tutorials out there. I even had to add extra extension just to make that and you know a little bit more secure. So just do you honestly, there's no right or wrong way to actually get this done as long as your butterfly looks as long as your butterfly bob looks distressed and boho ish then you're good to go So I finally went ahead to beat up my face a little bit and accessorize this hairstyle and my goodness, this is totally popping like I can't believe on my first try I was actually able to do this and you can do this as well honestly. Alright guys that's it for today's video, if you enjoyed it please go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up, don't forget to share this with someone it will be helpful to remember sharing is caring and if you haven't already please subscribe and join the fam. You're now wait 200 and I would love to have you. Thanks again for all your love and support. See you in my next video. Bye.